first service at Fox River was a Christmas service, uh, you know, five years ago. So we were trying to find a church for us, like as a as a blended family, having a church to go to that was something that the kids could could attend and that we could attend and that we felt like it was our home. And we walked in and there was 3D glasses, and I'm like, what is this? What's going on? You're a little hesitant. Um, we walk in and they're handing out the 3D glasses, and I just looked up and I was like. I'm never getting him back here. Yeah. And the kids were like, this is the coolest thing ever. And I was like, oh no, I'm not ever gonna get him back here. <laughs> Somewhere in 2019, it just hit and, and stuck. And mm -hmm. through COVID, sitting out in the parking lot and doing parking lot church, it was great. The challenges that I kind of faced were addiction. It was a, it was a big deal. And that addiction led to just challenges in all, you know, all facets of life, whether it be the relationship, you know, we were struggling in our relationship, we were struggling, I think I was struggling as a, as a father, um, you know, and I didn't have much of a relationship at that point in time with, uh, with Christ. And really it wasn't until I hit what I thought was rock bottom that uh, that's when I really said, I, God, God, I need your help. At that point in time, we were already in, re-engaged, trying to, um, you know, fix the marriage. But what Katie didn't realize is we were trying to fix a marriage, but I needed to fix myself first. Um, I think when you first came to me, that was like a, oh, well, that explains a few things. Uh, <laughs> there was a little bit of hesitation in that of like admitting that we're newlyweds and we're struggling. Newlyweds in a second marriage. For me personally, that was a big thing is, is being able to admit like we have, we have problems that we need to work through. But then that sort of instinctive, okay, how do we fix this? What do we need to do? Um, kicked in and it was like, okay, I, I know who I can get a hold of. First call that Katie made when I came to her was to church from somebody and then and then that led to the next call and the next call to get me around the right people, to get me into the right groups. And so really that became me digging into, we'd go to church, we'd go to re-engage, I'd go to celebrate recovery. And so I, I see it kind of as a, kind of like, you know, weights and, and, you know, working out, like you put in the reps and you do the work, like you get stronger. And that's really what I was doing then at that point in time. So it was growing with Christ, but it was because I was around so many people being at church and being in all these, the small groups, you know, those people came and they, they showed me like what it truly means to follow Christ. And that was where the growth in my relationship with God really happened was in those groups and in that time my faith grew exponentially because I was at church so often you know Sundays and Tuesdays and Thursdays it was just I was there all the time <laughs> like my car's just gonna drive there by itself anybody want to get in the prayer circle I think it's it's the best part about now is that we're able to give back so when we were going through our struggles and our challenges is people came and they, they wrapped their arms around us and said, we're here to help. And now we're able to give that back. As leaders of small groups, um, as people that have been around, we, we know who to connect people with. We're the ones that can say, we can help you. Yeah, let us help you. Let us support you. Let us pray for you. I've seen the wonder in our family with the way that the kids love church, they love God, they've all been willing to be baptized and share that faith, faith with the world. To me, that's a wonder right there, is that they're using their experience to help us get closer to God. We were starting to set an example for the kids about yeah. where to go when things aren't going right or when you're struggling. Those things to me that as we're growing in our relationships with God and we're growing in our relationship mm -hmm. together, just watching the kids in that aspect is really cool. When I stop and I look back at all the things we've done over the last few years at Fox River, I think blows my mind sometimes about how the opportunities that we've been impacted by and then the way we've impacted others. It's really, it's, it's special.